Last week, CKSN was able to catch up with Seth Griffith of the OHL's London Knights. Griffith, a Wallaceburg product, is one of the London Knights' leading scorers this season and also represented the OHL in the Subway Super Series. Seth, can you just say a little about how you think your season's going so far? Yeah, yeah, it's going good right now. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, we got a good, pretty good team this year. Uh, um, you know, uh, points-wise, you know, I'm playing with uh, some good guys. You know, me and the Mestikov, we have some good chemistry. So, uh, you know, hopefully it, uh, it just continues. And what can you say about playing in the Super Series earlier this season? Yeah, it was a lot of fun uh, playing with all the all the uh, high-end talent in, uh, in the OHL, so it was a good experience for me and I uh, had a lot of fun with it. We were also able to speak to London Knights assistant coach Dylan Hunter. Here's what Hunter had to say about Griffin. He's been exceptional for us. Uh, you know, we were expecting him to be uh, one of our top guys, and he's uh, come through for us in a huge way. Uh, you know, he's very tricky, and he's a very good player, and, uh, you know, he's been exceptional on the penalty kill, power play. Uh, he's gotten bigger. Um, you can tell by his, in his speed, too. Uh, that was kind of the thing that was hurting him a little bit, um, but he's, he's gained that half step that he needed, and, uh, you know, now he's, uh, he's a force to contend with with a D-man. You can tell that they're uh, worried about him coming down because he always had the hands, and now he's got the speed. Did not getting selected in the NHL draft last year serve as motivation for you? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, it was my goal last year at the end of the year to get drafted. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, but, uh, you know, I still had something to work uh, towards uh, with being invited to Tampa camp. So, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun and uh, I definitely had some motivation uh, in the gym and stuff like that. Speaking of Tampa Bay's camp, do you feel that experience helped you prepare for this season? Yeah, um, you know, playing with... Uh, all the prospects uh, um, with the Lightning organization. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good guys that played there, uh, Connolly and Ashton, um, some good guys. So, uh, you know, uh, and I was playing with uh, Nemestico over there too, so uh, I think it helped uh, with our chemistry uh, at the start of the season. Another Chatham Kent resident, Dane Fox, who's been one of your teammates for most of your life, is really having a strong season this year with the Knights as well. What can you say about growing up with Dane and now playing in the OHL together? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Me and Dane are good friends, so, uh, you know, I'm glad he's doing, uh, he's having a good year, and uh, I hope it continues for him. After this season, what are your goals? Are you hoping for another crack at the NHL draft, or are you just looking to build on what you've already accomplished this year? Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, I'm, uh, I could uh, get selected at the end of the year, but, you know, uh, you know, my goal has been to uh, make to the NHL, you know, no matter uh, uh, what way I get there, just as long as I get there. And overall, the Knights have had a very strong start to the season. You've been consistently ranked as one of the top teams in Canada. What do you think your outlook is for the year? Yeah, um, you know, hopefully, like I said, uh, it just continues. Uh, you know, as long as we're winning games, uh, everybody's uh, uh, happy in the dressing room.